Hey y'all, today we're in the Hot Springs National Park in Arkansas, and we're also gonna make the creamy Mississippi beef roast in our Instant Pot, and we're also gonna hike some trails down around here, around this little campsite, and we're gonna be cooking from our camper kitchen, all while having a whole lot of fun. You can see me here in the glass. You see my beautiful camera lady? <laughs> I hide. We forgot our ring light. We forgot our ring light. We're not using a tripod. What happened to our professionalism? We're on vacation. Not really. Not really. She's working me to death. Oh. Are you ready? Yes. Hi and welcome again to our camper kitchen here in Hot Springs, Arkansas. And today we are going to be cooking one of Chris's dishes from her blog, RecipesThatCrock.com. And I am going to be making the creamy Mississippi beef roast in our six quart instant pot. And it goes a little something like this. First thing you need, well, you need a side of cow. We have a huge, and I mean gargantuous, chuck roast. Look at that. Look it, how well marbled that it's is. It's three pounds. That's a three pound chuck roast. That's a whole lot of chuck. Barely fits in, in there, but it, it'll work. It's going to work. It's going to work. We're going to make this work, and we're going to do it like this. You take butter, half a stick. You take ranch mix, or we have chive and onion. Same company, same kind of thing. This chive and onion is actually even less carbs. In fact, it is uh, that many. No carbs in here. So if you're eating low carb and you want to even go a little further, we're going to try it and see how well this works. If you want to use ranch packet, it's fine too. There's yeah, not that we, many carbs in yeah, there. Yeah, we've made it with a ranch packet before. You also want to have some au jus gravy. Pack it on hand just like you would for another Mississippi beef roast. Like I said, you want your butter. You want some pepperoncinis and the juice. And the recipe that we have calls for beef broth. We don't have any beef broth in our camper kitchen, so we're going to use some water. Half a cup of water or half a cup of beef broth will work. Uh, we have chicken broth, but I think chicken and beef don't mix. Just ask Chick-fil-A. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my... Uh-oh. I'm going to throw my stuff on the floor. I got goosed by... I got goosed <laughs> Everything's by a little littler in little here. <laughs> more compact, so that's why we're eating low-carb so we can fit in the compact. I'm going to take my ranch or chive and onion packet and I'm gonna sprinkle it. Ooh, that's not white, that's green. That's got some greenness in it. That's the chives mm -hmm. and the onions. We also have tried mm -hmm. it with the dill packet to the creamy dill. Yes. So we like it with all these different ones. And we've made it with ranch. Mm -hmm. That's See, the standard. When you when you have a recipe, it doesn't have to be exact. If you want to try something different, I had a lady ask me today, instead of onions, or instead of uh, potatoes, could I use radishes? Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to try things to see if they'll work. Like for instance, we are making a creamy Mississippi beef roast, and the creamy Mississippi beef roast doesn't call for butter. But, we're gonna try it with butter. Yeah, we're gonna add butter. Um, and I think that's also gonna help with the flavor since we don't have the beef stock. Beef broth, yeah. yeah. So the butter right on the top. Let me throw this away. And now when he says the creamy, he's referring to the crock pot version of this recipe. Yes. Now what I'm gonna do, get my butter off my fingers. I'm gonna add my pepperoncinis. You want six of these babies right in there. Just like you would a normal beef roast, just put them around your roast. What this is gonna do is gonna add a little sour and just a touch of heat. They're not really hot peppers. But there, there's a little bit of capsaicin in them, so they'll be a little warm, but more to give it spice, but not a lot of heat, because I'm not a guy who likes a lot of heat in his food, so this is perfect for me. There's six. Now, I'm also going to take, what, about a half a cup mm -hmm. of the pepperoncini juice. I'm not going to measure, well, you know what, I guess I could measure it up, yeah. because we have our half a cup of water here. So I'm going to see if I can do this without getting any pepperoncinis in there. Now, if you don't like the spice of the pepperoncinis, you can just add a full cup of water or a full cup of broth. Almost. And our, um, hang on. There we go. Broth, or not broth, uh, there is our pepperoncini juice and our water. Yes, and or if you're the following the it. recipe, broth. Um, our friend Carlton has an eight quart, and he says sometimes you guys have to add a little bit more liquid. So those, you, those of you who are eight quart users, you need to keep an eye on that. Mm -hmm. We don't have an eight quart, so I can't tell you. Clean up my mess. Yes. Especially in a camper. There's no this cleaning this up later. <laughs> yeah, there's no cleaning up later. Clean it up now because it does not take long to make a mess and make it bigger and bigger if you don't clean it up. So now it's real simple. Put a lid on it. 
Yes. And you're going to have to put it on the counter behind you. I'm probably going to have to plug it in. Yes. Oh, the cord's on the floor. Don't lift it like that. Don't lift it like that. That is not a handle to lift it up because it will fall and you will get yelled at by my wife. That's an uncomfortable feeling. Where's the cord? There's the cord. Yes. Right. And then there's a plug-in right behind you on the counter. Side handles. There right you here. go. And you find out where this baby goes right there. Someday. And then here's my plug-in back there. Mm-hmm. Now you don't want that steam to get on your cabinet, so no. turn it so that'll go the other okay, way. So well, first you're going to have to program it, yep, then yep. you can turn it. So this is going to go on high for 90 minutes pressure. And then you want to go for at least 15 minutes of natural release. Now, if you all remember when Aunt Lou and I did the pot roast with potatoes and carrots in the Instant Pot, you do not want to quick release. Well, it's not just it that, well, I don't know that this one has enough liquid about that, but I will tell you another thing. I don't want to try. No, but Especially enough, not <laughs> another reason people like to natural release is they think it enhances the flavor mm. to let it kind of bring it itself down it instead it in of there. letting it all kind of, yeah. So 90, we're almost there. We're in the 70s. And you're going to turn your warmer off because we're going to Walmart. <laughs> warmer off. Oh. No, no. You hit the manual button there twice. Go. There you go. Just like that. So let's go for 90 minutes. Now I like to turn that warmer off on all my recipes because if you have problems with your instant pot or electric pressure cookers um, scorching the bottom of your recipes, sometimes that warming feature can be the culprit. Also, make sure uh, before you walk away from it, see, you hear that beeping? It's on. This is release. Make it, not. yeah. Make it it's so it's sealed. sealed. When yeah. it's sealed and it's there, you're locked in. I, did you just restart things? <laughs> leave your, leave it to be. Nope, manual oh. on. We're still Hang good. On. High pressure. We're good. Okay. So I'm going to turn it away. Yes. In fact, I could put it on the stove top yeah. underneath the vent. I think? know. Well, we're not going to leave the vent on while we're gone, I don't think. No, but I mean, it will go up in the vent instead of okay. all over everything else. We'll so put the glass top down. Get rid of this. Put our glass top down. It's like tempered glass. glass top. It's made for yeah, heat. Yeah, it's got a good temper. Uh -huh -huh. Unlike my, my lady whenever I quick release pot roast. <laughs> so, oh, oh, oh no. no. Well, here we go. It'll fit just like Are that right sure? there. Yep. Okay. Now we're going to let this go for 90 minutes, and then we're going to let it go for another 15 minutes to do the natural release. When you see that little thing pop down, then you know you can... Go on and turn pop. that vent on. You want to go ahead? Yeah. Hey, we're going to go ahead and turn this vent on. There we go. Now we'll make sure that any steam goes out of the camper. That and another thing is this is real small. It doesn't take long to heat this thing up, too. So. Right. And right now, down here in Hot Springs, it's like it was almost 70 today, I think. Yeah. So for almost being winter, there's some great weather going on right now that goes to some great hiking trails. In fact, we're going to show you that now we go around to Walmart. I'm enjoying the sights. Are you? <laughs> Our Pokemon trainer. Yeah, we got one of them. It's her hike. We'll be catching Pokemon in the woods. Uh, we're here at Hot Springs National Park. In this Arkansas. Is in, in Arkansas. Yes. Um, it's the boyhood yeah. home of uh, former President Bill Clinton, and it's gorgeous down here. Um, you see the park behind us here. There's an amphitheater. Uh, if you get a permit, I guess you could play the, at the amphitheater. Of course, that's the audience I'd probably get. Oh. And then there is a giant fire ring. You gotta have a permit, I guess, to use that, but we might come down later without the fire. And But the National Park Campground is beautiful. Yeah. If you are a senior and you have the National Park Pass, you get half off for full hookup for 15 bucks. We're not in the senior category just yeah. quite yet. Not so yet. we We've still have to pay years. full price. But it still is beautiful. And you're right here. Yeah, it's first come, first serve. So we're in an off season. So it was a little easier to get in. I would imagine that during peak season, you want to get here early and there's probably going to be a line there's quite a few spots open but it's still a pretty crowded park right now and this is early november when we're doing that or late november when we're doing this yeah. almost december but for but short sleeves yeah say for 
late November. It's Gorgeous. almost 70 degrees. I, I don't even know why I'm wearing a sweatshirt except sporting the posse. I got half sleeves. Addie's got half sleeves. Mama's doing the short sleeves. I'm sure I'm going to shuck this t-shirt or the sweatshirt for too long, but we're going to we get go. to hiking. Uh, we just finished lunch and it's time to burn it off. So we're going up there. Oh, wow. Really? Is that on the we, Gulf of Gorge did we Trail? Cross right there. Yeah, we crossed. There's oh, a bridge. Look at this. Check it out. Check it out, y'all. Come with us. So the way to get across to the trail is right through there. Oh boy, I wasn't scared a bit. This is what they call Gulfa Gorge. Those rocks. Isn't that gorgeous? That's a good way to burn off some lunch. Go on. Wait, hold on. Can you guys take a picture of me pretending that I'm about to be eaten? Sure. Our little camper dog's just loving his life right now. This Gulf of Gorge Trail, they say, is an easy one. Evidently, there's a lot better hikers down there than there are in Indiana. If this is easy... I'd love to know what a hard one yeah, is. Yeah, I, I would be... Because I would say if you have, like, bad knees, there's lots of steps and lots of rocks and unsure yeah. footing. Like right here. Lots this, of loose rocks. Watch out, Aki. Right here... That's the kind of stuff you're walking on. I mean, it's not bad at all, but it's, it's rocky, so you gotta watch your step. Now, we say that, but there was a guy doing trail runs through yeah, here. Yeah, they were running. He so. was running. He's like a full on Forrest Gump through here, so maybe maybe one day we'll get there. Maybe maybe this is easy. Also, there are big rocks like this. Yeah, so, but we're enjoying it. Oh, it's this, it's this is, fun. This is awesome. This is great. So now we're gonna walk down the gorge. And on down that way, and then across the river, and back to the trailer because it is time to make dinner. He's putting me on camera because he thinks I can't do this, which is the surest way to try and get me to do it. Should we leave the backpack? No, I'm good. If she makes it across, we cheer. If she doesn't make it across, it's just going to be cheer epic louder. video. <laughs> Everybody else will cheer. She made it! Yay! There's some loose ones, though. You might want to go around. Okay. We're back. We're back. Uh, while y'all were watching the footage of us hiking and stuff like that, we were at Walmart. Walmart in Arkansas. There are nice people at these places. I'm telling you, I have yet to meet one person that was not nice in Arkansas. And you go to the Walmart in Arkansas down here at Hot Springs, and those people are even nicer. The lady kept saying, well, if you need help, you just tell me. And then you walk around the corner, some other guys say, you need help, you just tell me. They didn't even work at Walmart. <laughs> but then we walk, the cool thing is, before I get going with this, we walk outside. Or when we came in, this guy saw on the side of our truck, it says, Recipes That Crock, you know? And he's like, hey, is that a website about cooking? Is that y'all on there? And we're like, yeah, yeah, that's what we do. My wife was being very nice to them. And then we came out, and he must have been shopping because his wife and, and child were still in the car. And she says, hey, I've been checking out your recipes the whole time he's in Walmart. We like you. So we gave him a pot sticker. <laughs> Hopefully you're watching this and you're a member of the Crock Posse now. So, very cool. So, anywho, we let this cook on high for 90 minutes on manual and then we let it do a natural release 
<laughs> that's our ice maker making that sound, not my belly, even though we're extremely hungry right now. But you let this do a natural release for 15 minutes, and now, as nervous as I am to do this, it's safe to pull the trigger. My wife and is And we don't we okay. don't have it under the vent because we had to cook green beans. So now our so our remind me not cook, to back up because the yeah our hot. cooktop is hot, so okay, we going can't. Three, two, one. Oh, that's not so bad. I'm waiting for the gravy to fly out. So now all we do is we wait for that little knot. You want to show that little knot right there, that little silver thing? It's not a smart thing to put your finger here because any closer I burn my finger off. Anyway, that little little metal thing will fall down and that will tell you that it is ready to go. So we will say that it's ready to go right now. Now, just like this, <laughs> you finally went. It takes about a minute or so for all that steam to come out. So you see that come down? That tells you it's safe to pop off the lid. Ooh, dude, that smells so good. Good? Good. It smells so good. So take a look down in the pot. That three pound roast, it shrunk up. Now it all fits down in there. That is soaked up so much flavor. Oh my goodness. Now watch this. This is 90 minutes instead of eight hours, 90 minutes. Watch this. Watch me take this fork. Well, it's, I'm drowning it. Look at, oh, oh look at that. Check it go. out. That meat is fall apart tender. That is so good. So all I want to do, and cool, metal pot. Well, not, it's a hot metal pot, but this is the cool thing. This is a metal pot in here. This is stainless steel. This is not nonstick. This is one of the reasons we really dig the Instant Pot is I can take two forks instead of pulling it out to a plate, shredding it up, put it back in. And I can just take two forks and, and shred this And one of the up. reasons why we have our Instant Pot as our backup to our slow cookers in our camper kitchen is because, like today, we weren't sure what was going to happen. Like, we weren't sure when we were going to get here. So, I didn't know that I was going to have eight hours. Yeah. So we did, we ended up, we could have had eight hours, but we would have been really hungry. So we decided to just do it later in the day and do it via the Instant Pot. Yeah, so as much as we love the slow cooking, knowing that we've got backup with an Instant Pot, we're really happy. And we will leave a referral link down below where you can check this out if you want to as well. And honey, that meat is shredded. That All is right, so now just stir in your cream yeah. cheese. All I got to do now take this brick of cream cheese that my wife so nicely already chopped up for me and pop her down in there and then the hard part is the waiting for this to melt which will take I don't know not even a couple minutes but it's the hard part of standing over the top of this pot and smelling how good that is and not just sticking my fingers down in there and eating it but it's really hot so I'll wait but all you do is that just let that cream cheese melt down. So what was your favorite thing today? You. Ah, ha, ha, ha. That's called getting points, y'all. <laughs> is that what that is? Um, I want to say it was that mansion that we saw that had the electric water wheel. Uh-huh. Um, it was built by a guy, his last name was Fordyce, and his father was one of the bathhouse owners down here in hot springs that's what we've learned a lot about um the hot springs there's natural hot springs that flow from underneath the ground and the native americans around here said that there were medicinal properties to it uh, but it got really really big down in towards the great depression era um, as other cities big cities were on the decline because of the growing depression hot springs actually started to boom and so they had this row of bath houses down the main drag here in hot springs and that's where all the people would go celebrities would come here um gangsters were real big down here they would come down here to the bath houses there were speakeasies and gambling joints and horse racing places and um spring training for the major league baseball players actually was here back in the day and I'm sure after some spring training, they like to jump in the hot tub. Um, the natural hot tub that's down here. Um, but there's this one mansion that sits off um, the main drag over here. And it was built on the top of one of the mountains. And there was no electricity and no running water. So what they end up doing was the son of this bathhouse owner, uh, he had a stroke of ingenuity. And they said he was kind of like the Southern Edison. 
because he built this wheelhouse that or this water wheel that sat on the water then he dammed up this river that went by so that the water would rush down when he needed it to and it would turn the wheelhouse or the wheel on the wheelhouse and that would send electricity as well as pump water up to this house on top of the hill so it was really cool and then i think it one i think they call it um the ricks estate now um because one of the mayors uh back in the 50s one of the mayors of hot springs used to live there so there's your nerd moment for me <laughs> geeking out about this place down here Are and we ready just to in eat? time take a look creamy at mississippi, mississippi. yeah now you are the Mississippi man, even though we're in Arkansas. I am. So tell me, you know, you messed with oh the... Oh gosh, I guess I should do a taste test. Uh. One thing I'll say is, I would have even used a little less liquid, and that'll make it even creamier. But or I think you could that, add that another that bar of cream cheese, too, I'm, if you wanted to. I'm completely cool with that, too. <laughs> so I will dig into this right now. I'll get just a little bite. It's falling apart on my fork. That's mm -hmm. how tender this is try not to drip that everywhere please again 90 minutes that's all it took to do this well actually 105 because you take that 15 minutes to do the natural release on it because you don't quick release when your right. wife tells you not to right but in just <laughs> over an hour and a half just under two hours you can have what usually takes you all day to cook and we're going to see if it's just as good We use that onion and chive packet instead of the ranch, so I want to see the difference. Mm -hmm. Oh. Honey, Addy, you don't want any of this. <laughs> take this outside. Uh huh. Oh my gosh. That pepper on Cine juice, mm -hmm. one, adds liquid mm -hmm. that you need in order to cook in an instant pot, but it adds a sour, it adds a vinegary flavor. It's just a I can't eat, I wouldn't even drink this with a glass. I wouldn't drink a glass of water to go with this because it's not that hot. Right. But it adds a little bit of a bite to it, which I think is amazing. I would definitely add another brick of cream cheese or cut down on the water from what we did to make that even thicker and creamier. But that is amazing. That's one of those, I want to take a, a giant toasted hoagie roll and just dip down in there and have like a dipped beef sandwich. So that did is you so like good. the chive and onion? The chive and onion is really good. Um, uh, hang on, just, ah. just a second. Oh, now gonna you're going to get all the double dip comments. I know. Listen, it's my camper. I want to say it's my house. It's my camper. I can double dip if I want to because I promise you I will eat all of that if they don't. <laughs> mm. It's a slightly different flavor than the ranch, but that chive and onion, you can definitely taste the onion in it. It kind of sweetens it up even though there's no carbs in there. It's got a sweet flavor because of the onions and the chives. Now, of course, that gravy packet gives it that meaty flavor, which is a good thing since we missed out on having the beef broth. Mm -hmm. This could definitely become one of our most popular recipes because that is so good. <laughs> Absolutely try that, y'all. Absolutely check out the link down below. If you're interested in checking out an Instant Pot, we'll definitely give you the referral for that. And most importantly, if you like what you saw, and I'm not just talking about the hot sweaty man who just made dinner. I'm also talking about the show and the channel and the blog recipes that crop.com. Go there now. Give us two likes down below. Oh wait, there's only one thumb. That's okay. Click it. And also, if you haven't become a member of the Croc Posse, all you got to do is click subscribe and you are a member of the Croc Posse. And y'all keep watching because we'll keep cooking and all will be well. I am now officially a triple dipper. <laughs> Bye, y'all.